Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It isn't high time that the young and the restless stopped its never-ending game of musical CEOs and corporate intrigue, it's time. And the return to Genoa City of two MIA characters could not only put an end to the business storylines that amount to nothing, it could reunite a super couple and raise eyebrows with a brand new pairing to boot. Whoever could we mean? Read on. It's been more than a decade since Philip Chancellor IUA last came home. And though he had about as much interest in Chancellor Industries as he did in dating women, he should be moved to act now, if only to relieve the stress it's putting on Mom Jill to have half-brother Billy running the show. Philip's solution? He'll go ahead and superficially take over as a sign that the corporation is staying in the family. He'll shake the hands, give the speeches, endure the photo ops. But the actual work of keeping the company afloat will fall on the shoulders of the next best thing to him. Kane Ashby, who he once tried to pass off as Jill and Philip E.'s son. Billy would stomp his feet and pout at being unseated from the position that Mummy gave him. But in no time, things would settle right down at Chancellor. Victor would even back off his takeover attempt, as happy as he is with the way Catherine's legacy is being preserved under the new regime. And he'd have to be blind not to notice that Kane and Lily are getting along swimmingly. It's as if the time apart allowed them to put past mistakes behind them and start over. As for Philip, he'd quickly notice that there seems to be a dearth of available men in Genoa City. That is, until Fen Baldwin returns for a visit. Over a drink, they laugh about the fact that for a city with like 2,000 giant corporations, it's weird that there are only two members of the LGBT plus community, Mariah and Tessa. Or four, now that the guys are in Genoa City. Fenn could explain that he recently got out of a relationship that hadn't been all that serious. He hadn't even known Trey's last name. But Michael and Lauren had liked Trey. Maybe, Fenn jokes, he could scandalize his folks by going out with an older man. Got anyone in mind? Philip asks as if it isn't obvious who Fenn means. Before we knew what hit us, the young and the restless would have on its hands Lane 2.0 and an unexpected May-slash-December romance between Philip and Fenn. And knock wood, for weeks on end, we wouldn't have to hear bleep about who's running what company or which zillionaire is plotting to leave a rival only almost as rich as they've always been. What do you think? Should Philip and Kane swoop in and take over Chancellor?